path from here. Time for the law. Can I borrow this crib? Con el otro. No interrumpas, pendejo, la dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué no, no ¡Cállese, mejor? güey! Y de aquí para acá, pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero... Yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. Habla inglés. <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo. Comprende. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. If you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. Very big. <laughs> I, too, have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see the boots, Gringo? I think you can see him from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. 
I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. Not many things. Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, <sighs> just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. so hard, was it? Come on, I've got another idea. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Sir, you've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. They're not involved in this. Put the gun down. Senor Ricketts, Senor Ricketts, por favor, Senor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey.
look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Stay alert. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Parece que usted sabe lo que busca. Muy bien. Gracias por sus negocios. Emocionante. Un placer hacer negocios contigo. Buenísimos días, cariño. Fantástico. Gracias por sus negocios. Excelente. Un placer hacer negocios contigo. Cualquier problema, se lo resuelvo a la orden. That's all I need for now. Que tenga usted un día fantástico. Hola, compadre. Me pones rojas. Excuse me, madam. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Senor Escuela. Is Javier to see? No sé, Senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? Big American? Emilio, the Sabacone, uh, Grande Americano? Yo no sé. 
No. Again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm gonna take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. Buenas. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. You rest, don't worry about me. I'm too old for sleep. I'll wake you when we get there. Come on, horses are over here. All right, let's head to El Matadero and see what they know about Luisa. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl, anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Whoa, there. Whoa! All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See. Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Hope you're ready for this.
Carvajal. ¿Qué quieres? ¡No puedes estar aquí! Te hace calor hoy. Bien bochornoso, ¿verdad? ¡No lo voy a decir otra vez! ¡No puedes estar aquí! Eh, oye, soy yo, Carlos. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tus cerdos. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. That's our cue. The entrance is down this way. Pare! Ahora mismo! You're not covering me! You want to stop doing that? Keep at him, Marston! Drop that bastard, Marston! Get up here, Marston! This doesn't look good. Luis is coming with us. There they are! This door. Looks like we might need a little dynamite to get it open. Keep watch while I get it ready. Toma deal with those bastards, Marston. Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Right, let's see if we can all get out of here in one piece. Sure is a lot of them. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Let's go before any more of them show up. Just 
just about dead! Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Escuela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you Johnny's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, yeah. 